Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. This is going to be another fun and real world, real life scenario video. So recently I upgraded the tires on my Polaris North Star Ultimate and I got these BF Goodrich. Uh, I think they're TA3s, but anyways, it's more of a road tire, I guess. So I did notice a much smoother ride, which is the reason that I got them for, or at least it's a long story, but I'm looking for a smoother ride for my back and that kind of thing. But today we toured a property, 160 acre farm, um, and I noticed the difference in less traction right away. So there's definitely a trade-off, but I, this is some good riding video. We're going through some fields that are uh, probably two years of overgrowth, and there's a lot of washouts. It's hilly country, and even the property owner, he actually had to go and walk ahead on some obstacles because each year it's different depending on how much rain um, there's certain washouts that get bigger and bigger each year that he has to keep working on so this is just a cool video i think you'll like the scenery and the fresh air and i'm going to demonstrate that i noticed like immediately that those road tires had a lot less traction than just the stock tires the pro armor tires that come with the polaris so join us for some fresh air, a little bit of fun, see if I get my machine stuck for the first time or not. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. All right, so the backdrop for today's video, we're gonna hit at least two obstacles. Uh, we are looking at a property that's for sale down here in Southern Illinois and Phil and Tammy joined us. So Phil is behind us with a GoPro running and of course uh, me and Sharon are up in my Polaris and the landowner Randy is riding with us um, but a lot of these spots he had to walk ahead just to confirm you know how bad the washouts may or may not have been in front of us so that's the backstory here by the way stay tuned for the videos of our assessments we looked at two different properties the other day We'll put a video out on each of those to see whether we're going to try to pursue one or not. But anyways, this is overgrown fields with a lot of washouts. Let's see how it goes. Thanks. Alright, so our next challenge is to get across this creek. There's a really nice creek that runs through the center of this property, but there's really only one good place to cross it where cattle used to cross, and that's what we're looking for here. Um, so you're not going to be able to tell the, uh, the steepness on video because it never does it justice, but here again Randy's going to walk it, and he wanted me to look at it first so that I could see what I'm going to go through. So it took us a while to find this old cattle crossing but that's what we're gonna hit next yeah i just stepped across it going over that way you'll see 
like an opening in the trees over there. Back. You can kind of see where the deer's been run too. I try to stay where, where the yeah. deer's is running. Yeah. Uh, is that the opening? That's there? the opening right there. Okay. That goes into the field across the creek. Now she's going to go straight down. Okay. So, not straight, but I mean right there is how we're going to. You want to look at it first before you get in? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so the long and the short of it, and the point of this video, is just to say I noticed a really big drop in traction when I went to these uh, BF Goodrich KM3 tires, but it's a trade-off, you know, they're going to wear better, you can rotate them, uh, they are a softer ride because you can lower them down to 3 PSI, 3 or 4 if you wanted to. Um, but I, I think I'm still going to keep them on, although this is the stuff that we do predominantly. You know, um, I do want to do more trail riding, but n normally we're doing this stuff. We're in rugged country, like kind of make your own trail areas, looking at properties and so forth. So I'll kick it back and forth. I might put the original ones back on. I may not. Who knows? Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button for us. We appreciate it. Leave us a comment and share it and stay tuned for the assessments of these two farms we've looked at in the last couple of days. And as always, um, be safe out there. We hope to see you on the next video. And don't forget to dream big, follow your dreams because life is very short. All right, we'll see you on the next go around. Thanks a lot. Tractor. I didn't even get this far. You can go up there around that, that old thorn bush. You can go, yeah, you can go up around it. See, I didn't even get this far. Uh, last fall, I had this slick as a gut. This was, there was nothing on it. That's that's a year's growth right there. Now that right there is the, uh, that's a tree that kept me from crossing the creek. Is that the one we saw? Is that, that, goes, that behind that, your place that goes right the road, there? That goes to the road. Okay.